Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing some Magic Arena and we're looking at some more budget or beginner brews for Explorer. So this is something I came up with that's all built around life gain and enchantments. So we've got Satter Enchanter to draw some cards. So whenever we cast an enchantment we draw a card. We've got Banishing Light to remove some stuff and it's an enchantment. Dukai Naturalist is an enchantment creature that's got lifelink and makes our other enchantments cheaper, so it's perfect for our deck. A Rune of Sustenance gives something lifelink and also draws us a card when it enters, so it's a good little cantrip. Mishiko's Reign of Truth gives um, a target creature plus one plus one for each artifact or enchantment we control for two turns and then turns into a creature itself, so that's quite a nice little combat boost. All that glitter makes the creature really big because it gets plus one plus one for each artifact or enchantment we control. A Johnny's Primate gets bigger every time we gain life, so that's quite neat with the life gain synergies we have in our deck. A Generous Visitor puts a plus one plus one counter on stuff when we play an enchantment, so that helps make things big. Audacity is quite a neat little card, gives something plus two plus oh and trample and then when it's put into the graveyard it draws a card so if our creature dies or gets removed we can get a card back. And then Al said of Life's Bounty is another enchantment creature that's got lifelink um, that we can also sacrifice to give a target creature or enchantment protection from a colour of our choice so we can use that to either sneak some damage through or protect our creature from a, a a kill spell or something like that um this deck's very heavy on uncommons i think pretty much everything's an uncommon <laughs> so um might take a little more to build than our cavalcade deck we looked at last week but i think it should be interesting and fun so let's uh, take it out into the play queue and see how we do okay starting hand seems fine we got a pride mate and a jukai naturalist and we've got a Blossoming Sands as well, which we can play turn one, so that the tap land doesn't mean anything for us. Okay, we're playing up against the Cat Oven deck. Maybe not the best, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I think we'll play a Forest and we'll get down the Jukai Naturalist. Okay, that got removed. Got another one. Play Generous Visitor. Jukai Naturalist. Get a pair of 2 twos on the board. That's not so bad. So we're up against Rakdos Sacrifice of some kind. Oh, that's frustrating. They can steal both our creatures and sacrifice them. No blocks. Wow, we're just getting everything killed, eh? <laughs> Not able to build up a board presence. Okay, play Johnny's Pride Mate, and we'll play Audacity onto it. So that we can at least draw a card when this dies. Kind of a bad matchup for us, they're very uh, removal heavy, uh, as we can see, <laughs> so we're just not able to get any threats to stick. Kind of unfortunate really. Sacrifice might be a good deck for our uh, budget brew, because a lot of the cards in that are uncommons and commons, maybe we should do that next week. game we're just not drawing any creatures oh well never mind 
Okay, starting hand seems fine. We can start off with Generous Visitor, then go into a Jukai Naturalist, then an Enchantment Enchanter. We'll just wait and see if everything gets removed like last time. <laughs> Oh, they're playing Generous Visitor as well. Seems like they're playing a five color deck. Ah. Ivy, Spell Thief. Get in for two, see if they block with that Ivy or not. So I'm not sure if they're an enchantment or a, um, a heroic deck. Possibly a mix of both. I think we're just going to be outgunned by this Ivy deck. Um, we'll play the Saturn Enchanter and take a turn off. See if we have time or not. I think our best chance is to make a big Jukai naturalist um, and hopefully life gain our way out of this. But they've got two creatures with life gain from that rune of sustenance, so we're probably going to lose that race. <laughs> Okay, we'll play Jukai Naturalist. Draw some Sands. Oh, really? So that Ivy gets a copy of our enchantments. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Ivy seems really good here. <laughs> if only we could play res. Oh dear, that's frustrating. Okay, we'll play Johnny's Pride Mate. Jukai Naturalists. We'll just try and make this guy really big. We're all in on the giant Jukai Naturalist. Um. <laughs> We're just going for 20 trample damage, why not? <laughs> I forgot about the trample. Oh well, GG. <laughs> okay, we're back playing some budget magic, playing with our enchantment deck that's all uncommons. We've got one win and one loss so far, which isn't so bad. Um, guess we'll play a Plains and then a Aslid first, and then see what they play. Oh, I thought they were playing first. Okay. 
not quite sure what the opponent's doing in this round. They've already gone to their end step. You can't do anything with that lands, mon frere. Okay, play Forest, play Jukai Naturalist. Opponent seems to be playing mono red, but I, I don't understand why they haven't played any lands. Maybe this is some kind of challenge they've set themselves. Yeah, kind of confused about this one. Opponent seems to be throwing the game for no good reason. Okay, uh, we'll play the Blossoming Sands. Play all that glitters. And Audacity. I think we kill them next turn unless they do something. Yeah, I'm very confused about what our opponent was thinking here. Um, maybe they didn't mulligan, they kept a land without a hand without land or something, or they just felt like not playing. <laughs> Oh well, GG. Okay, starting hand seems fine. We can play Generous Visitor and then Naturalist. We've got a Banishing Light to remove something if we need to. Oh, we against Mono Green Devotion, that would be hilarious. We're playing a budget deck, we don't need that. <laughs> Matchmaker's terrible. Is this Nick Foss? Oh. Crew free. Well, I think we we just remove it. It would have been nice to play out the enchanter first, but I think there was too big a chance of it just getting sniped. Yeah, this is Mono Green Devotion. Why are we matched against Mono Green Devotion when we're playing with Uncommons? I'm so stupid. Hey, 
Hey, looks like you're playing with commons and uncommons. Why don't you go against the best deck in the format? Brain dead deck as well. Ugh. So they get Sit Escape Leveler, they blow up Banishing Light. Yeah, this is just straight up Nick first. Like, what is this matchmaker? It's horrendous. <sighs> Stupid. Like, would they put new players against this kind of deck? I can't believe they put us against Nick first. It's so stupid. Like, I'm playing a budget deck. Ah, oh, so mad. This can't attack or block, can it? Uh, the problem is they just get back their sky ship and then snipe something. Seem to have broken the brain of this mono green player. Not that that's difficult when it's such an easy deck to win with. Evil cannot withstand a righteous heart. You just got everything. Like we're playing a budget deck. This is ridiculous. And you're playing slowly as well. Ah, oh, this is depressing. Magic Arena at its worst. Um, play all the glitters, there's not much point though, really. It only makes it a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, concedes, we're not winning that. Scheduled loss from the matchmaker, good game, good game. Um, this hand would be okay if we had some green, but unfortunately we don't, so we're going to have to mulligan it. <laughs> now we get a hand without white, okay. Um, put back in Audacity. Just hope to draw a white source. Otherwise this might be a second scheduled match loss. 
Oh great, more green. <laughs> we against mono reds. Yeah. Now oh, this is depressing. Come on, white sauce. No. Ah, uh, this might be another very quick game. I'm kind of not drawing the mana we needed. That's the problem with playing two colours on a budget deck. You don't have the land base to really support it. And we're dead. Okay, this is looking a bit better. We've got both our colours. Um, I think we'll start off with the Blossoming Sands. And then we'll play Alced and Audacity next turn. Oh good, Mono Black. Plus three, plus three, oh yeah. Strangle, okay. Okay, we've got a couple of the Johnny's Pride Mates, that's not too bad. Gonna win against removal tribal though. Okay, play a pride mate and a Jukai naturalist. Fatal push. Blood type harvester. That's four removal spells by turn four. Not much we can do about that, really. Visitor, pride mate. Just keep playing stuff until something sticks, I guess. More removal? Jeez. Who did we upset at Watsy today? Smashmakers hated us. <sighs> Play Johnny's Pride Mate. For more removal and probably draws it. We just haven't been able to build up the critical mass of creatures and enchantments to go over the top here. Defeating you will not bring me pleasure. Nor pain. Our fiends thirst for life. Yeah, this is game. We have just got removed out of the game. Oh well, GG, never mind. Okay, so that was um, green white enchantments with for um, artisan or sort of beginner decks who don't want to spend any w rare wild cards. 
Um, the deck didn't do too well, although we're a bit unfortunate with the matchmaker. We're quite soft to removal because we need to build up that kind of critical mass of creatures and then for things to all start stacking together. And when the duck deck does pop off, it's quite good. You know, we get some quite big threats and get some good life gain. But it needs to kind of come together and not get removed and not go up against Monogreen Devotion and other powerful decks like that. So probably not as good a craft as the Cavalcade deck we played last time, but still kind of interesting and perhaps more upgradable than the Cavalcade deck. You could go for a Kami of Transients, I think it is, and um, upgrade the mana base play some different enchantments you know to make this a bit stronger you know i think the deck's okay but yeah not as good as cavalcade and maybe we should try brewing something around the sacrifice shell as that's mainly commons and uncommons that could be quite good so um thanks very much for watching hope you all enjoyed and see you next time